Hurricane HQ Eye on the Season, sponsored by Anchor Solix. The storm surge from Hurricane Helene overwhelmed the Pinellas County Barrier Islands. Here on St. Pete Beach, many homes had several feet of water up into their first level. Section right here that we saw a car that was almost completely submerged. Many had parked up on the causeway just looking for a little bit of last minute elevation. It was right at this spot that we saw off in the distance, this massive power flash. And that was when we knew it was time to go. And welcome back to Hurricane HQ, Eye on the Season. I'm Fox Weather's Ian Oliver. And that contrast right there, it's still stunning to see. There are places you drive around here. We're on Treasure Island on the beautiful uh, Pinellas County coastline in Florida. You drive around and it's like nothing happened. <coughs> Excuse me. And there are other places where there are still very obvious signs of what played out last year. There are folks that are still working to recover. And that's going to be a process that goes on for a considerable period of time as we move into a new hurricane season. <clears throat> I do want to bring uh, back in uh, Fox Brothers Jane Menard in New York City uh, for a discussion on that, Jane. This is a place that dealt with a back to back hurricanes last year, it was a couple of weeks apart, two majors. Uh, we've talked with folks around here. I mean, you see what's going on behind me, Jane. Mm -hmm. uh, caddies, by the way. I said they reopened in March. It's a temporary tent. Their main building is still destroyed, and they're working through, hey, uh, what's the future going to look like here? So this is why people live here. You see behind me what's going on. It's a beautiful beach day in Florida. But the deal you make is that half the season, you've got an eye on the Gulf. You've got an eye yeah. on the Atlantic, because there are hazards that could be brewing. And now is the time to prepare. NOAA putting out there slightly above average forecast, 13 to 19 storms. That's 13 to 19 chances that you could see an impactful system once again on the Gulf Coast, perhaps even the East Coast of the United States when we look towards the Atlantic. Six to ten hurricanes, three to five majors. Now, Ian, we're, we're not even into the peak of this yet. And if we look back to last year, right. we had incredibly warm waters. Another factor that we're watching this season but we had a kind of a head scratcher last year during peak months, late August, September. We ended up with a massive lull in activity. In fact, one of the largest lulls, longest right. lulls, 19 days in modern satellite era. Yeah, so that tells us a little something about the purpose of these seasonal forecasts, mm -hmm. right? Because there was that hyperactive forecast for last year, which did end up verifying because of how backloaded the season was. But even as we talk about this forecast for an active season, it tells us nothing about, Jane, where the storms, right. the number of storms, as you said, where they're going, which is why you have to prepare now. And that's why Fox Weather is here with this special to get folks thinking about what they'll do if another storm starts heading their way this season. It's not just one factor that's going to drive tropical activity. Yes, the warm water temperature is definitely there. And in fact, we saw a lot of that at the beginning of the season. When you look at the accumulated cyclone energy ACE, we look to see how active the season can yeah. be. I mean, we had barrel right at the top. Uh, main development in the region, we'll talk more about barrel, of course, throughout the, the year it went down in history. But then that lull and the backloaded, near record activity we had with Helene, Milton back to back. But even between Helene and Milton, let's not forget we had like three or four named storms in the basin. So just kind of yeah. something to look for. I mean, we had, we have to look into other things like the storm track of the African monsoon. Those are the seeds that come off the African coast and work their way across the main development region. Last year was shifted to the north, and so it moved into hostile winds, and it kicked up a lot of Saharan dust. Yeah, Jane, uh, you mentioned ACE. We can have storms churning up a bunch of ACE out somewhere over open water on the basin and not bothering people. But when these storms strike land and they impact people, uh, that's where the big problems start to occur, and that's what we're hoping to avoid uh, moving through this 2025 season.